Yeah, I haven't, I've never read any of Hickman's work, but uh, especially this X-Men thing, it sounds, I don't know, like very indulgent, you know? Like, uh, if your favorite band, like, they just get so good and they're so incredible and then, like, they come out with a song that's, like, 25 minutes long and it's, like, yeah, the first 10 minutes of it, you're just, like, so into it and you're, like, oh, yeah, this is good. And then, like, five minutes later, you're, like, this is so boring because, like, they just get too into what they're doing and they forget, like, other people have to enjoy this, too, you know? That is the greatest like comparison you could make to what's going on <laughs> with those X-Men right now. Because I, I wasn't that familiar with Hickman's work, but I was sucked into the to the relaunch and I was like, this was amazing and nothing has lived up to the hype since. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, people were really into it. And now like uh the Ten of Swords stuff that started coming out, people are like, it's still good, but like I'm tired yeah. of the white pages and all the extra reading and yeah. stuff, you know. And that, I'm like, that yeah. feels that feels like a cheat too because honestly when i see those giant white pages of text i turn the page <laughs> i'm like oh, okay let's move on i always but hate yeah. that because there there are some examples of books that use uh like comics that use prose uh like undone by blood and uh, uh alienated both uh use some some prose elements to them and stuff you know and it worked really well but at a certain point, I do feel like if I got to those white pages and Hickman books, I'd be like, I would just get a novel yeah. if this is what I really wanted to yeah. read, you know? Like, at when some point, it's a little too much. When I have 10 minutes to absorb a comic, that's not where I'm, I want to, I'm like, all right, I'm, now I'm here on this page. 